There it is. Quite happy with that to be fair. <laughs> right, we're on a five second tip or three five second tips. So one tip broken down into three sections, five seconds per section, all to help you feel strike, all to help you feel how impact should feel, delivery into impact should feel, and the motion through impact should feel, how the hands, the arms, the elbows all work together as one. It's a cracking little tip this, you're gonna enjoy it. And of course, if you do enjoy this tip, leave a comment in the box below. Also subscribe to the channel, click the thumbs up button and the bell notification, and then we're good to go. Let's crack on. Okay, so part one of this tip, which only takes you five seconds. I have a six iron in my hand, and I want to swing the club on plane. Now, I don't want to take the club up and come under plane and swing under. I don't want to go up and come over plane and swing over. I want to swing on plane. So part one is about getting yourself on plane. Take your golf club, any club, driver if you like, place it in your hands and just let it hang. In your address position, just let it hang. There I am, I've done my tilt, I've popped my knees and dropped myself down, so I'm into my address position. I'm holding the club with my wrists or my hands about knee width apart. About knee width apart. And then from there, I'm just going to rock the club backwards and forwards. Just rocking it backwards and forwards. Now I'm on plane. This club's swinging on plane. On plane. Now the club won't go in a straight line. It'll have to swing around my body because of the axis or the center, but that's, look at that, it's on plane. It's not come over, it's not gone under, it's just swung on plane. All I'm doing is swinging my arms. Keeping a gentle hold of the golf club, swinging my arms, and that club's on plane. Now if I rotate more of the body, I'm on plane. Now my right elbow starts to fold there on plane, but you can see how on plane I am. If you do this for five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, put your club down, feel the same action, look at that, we're on plane. Very, very simple muscle memory drill to get yourself on plane. You can visually see the club on plane. You can see how that stays on plane as the body reacts and the body moves. It's brilliant, it's never done any of this it's just on plane, it's just such a simple way to feel how to be on plane. Now five seconds of that is so easy. It's not exactly taxing that, is it? <laughs> I mean, even I could do it. That gets you swinging on plane, that gets you to feel what on plane's like through the impact zone. Really, really simple, straightforward stuff. Part two, another five seconds worth. If I take my same address position, doing the same thing, one, two, three, four, five, up to the top, stop on six, turn my hand round underneath, and then back down for seven. Now you'll feel the right elbow come close to the right side. There. So now my palms to the sky. One, two, three, four, five. Now the act of going up to the top there with the hand underneath kept me on plane. So I understand how to swing on plane. Drill one. I now understand how to swing on plane and get the right elbow involved, hand underneath, from there, so it's there down, bring it down on plane, right elbow comes close to right hip, it doesn't go out, doesn't go too far underneath, there, that relationship there is great, five seconds of that, so five seconds of part one puts you on plane, lets you feel what it's like to be on plane, and the shaft visually shows you being on plane, you can see that, visually see it, and also that is through the impact area. Part two is from the top, the right hand turns underneath, and then from there it's more of a pull down action, the right elbow coming close to the right side. That is power. From part one putting you on plane, to part two bringing you back down, staying on plane because the right elbow speaks to the right hip. And now part three. Part one. Three. Four. Five. Part two. One. Right hand under. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Part three, turn your club round so the head of the golf club is away from your body. My head is closer, the head of the golf club is closer to the target. I take my dress position as if it was part two. So left hand on top, right hand underneath, up the top. And then from there, when I come down, I want to feel the left hand rotating. So flattening the left wrist. So the club head is now going to spin. 
I'll be up here and then from there, this is the start of part two, I'll come down, the left wrist will now rotate this way and as I do that the right elbow stays close to right side and you will then see the club head rotate on the way down. Address position, up to the top I'm now starting number two but I'm also going to incorporate number three so this is going to turn this way as the right elbow comes to the right side, there. That is closing the face, look at the right elbow, if I, right wrist sorry, left wrist sorry, come down there, look at the left wrist, now if I turn round there, you can see how this is now bowed, imagine that being impact there, awesome. We'll just go through part three again, I take my dress position, so there was part one, I'm just going to move along to the end of the grip now, there, advanced part one, part two, was the right hand underneath, let's start off part two and as I come back down from the start of two, number three, the left wrist rolls, flattens, club head rotates in the hand or the shaft rotates in the hand so you can see the club head rotate. So I'm on plane, so I'm on plane, I'm going to get relation between right elbow and right hip from there and then I'm going to get left wrist to flatten by that action. Look at the club head rotating. There. That is on plane, downswing and impact. So five seconds of each, put it together, it's a 15 second drill. Part one, five seconds. Part two, five seconds. Part three, oh, five seconds. Tee the ball up. 15 second drill, here we go. Address position, I'm going to put the club head that end. Part one. One, on plane, two, three, four, five, the top, one, two, still on plane, three, right elbow, four, five, on plane, good, part three, down and turn, down left wrist turns, four, five, which is that. Step on, repeat that. It's gone right to left. <laughs> Got a nice bit of draw on that because on plane, connection between right elbow and right hip on the way down. And of course, left wrist rotating or bowing a little bit more through impact, therefore closing the face slightly. Face close the path, draw. I'll aim a little bit further right this time. Same again, right to left ball flick. Then once you've got that, hit some balls off the grass. I teed those first two up. I'll definitely be more regimental where I aim with this one. There we go, so I'm on plane, on plane. Right elbow, right hip, left wrist. There we go, so that's where we're going now, good. There it is. Quite happy with that to be fair. <laughs> there we go, thanks for watching a three part drill, five seconds of each just to feel the motion, feel yourself being on plane, feel the right elbow and right hip combination or connection and then feel the left wrist rotating. Ben Hogan talked about the left wrist supinating through impact so the palm of the left wrist points to the sky. You'll capture that with this, you'll capture loads of things with this. Good luck, keep me posted and I will see you in my next video.